Hello and welcome to the first video for setting up to use the game engine that I have developed uh, in your own programs. First of all I'm going to go through the stages you use to create your own uh, game that's going to then use the engine including title sequences, game over screens and the such like. I'm going to go quite fast because I've already done this in class with my groups and hopefully you should be able to follow it uh, without too much of a difficulty. So I'm going to start by building a Windows Form application. I'm going to call this game My Game 1 uh, just to make it easier for finding later. Um, so I've changed the name and obviously it's changed the solution as well and it's a Windows Form application and I'm going to use .NET Framework version 4. So I start by creating this project and wait for it to load. while this is uh, going on, uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set up a series of different forms that will play in the order that I uh, run them so that you can have a starting title sequence followed by a menu and then from the menu you, you can either close the program or go onto the actual game itself from the game you either go to a game complete screen or a game over screen so the first thing I'm going to do is actually go into Solution Explorer so I'm just going to click on the uh, right hand side solution explorer. If you can't find it obviously you can find it in the view menu and I'm going to click the little um, pin so it's always on the screen. And The first thing I'm going to do is delete form 1. There we go, form 1 is now gone. I'm then going to add all the forms that I'm going to need. So I'm going to start with FRM title. Let's create that first of all. Right click again, add Windows Form. We're obviously going to need a menu. FRM menu. We're going to need the actual game screen, so add Windows Form FRM game. And then I'm going to add another Windows Form. We're going to do the game over and game complete screens. So FRM game over and add Windows Form FRM game complete. So I've got FRM game, game complete, game over, menu and title. I'm then going to right click again on the My Game 1. I'm going to create two new folders, an images folder and a levels folder. I'm going to store the level files in here and I'm going to obviously store my graphics in the images folder. What we're going to do now is I'm going to hide Solution Explorer because I won't need that just for a moment. So I've got my um, five screens uh, on the screen here. I'm now going to open my toolbox and pin it to the side so I can see it easily. And the first thing I'm going to do, just so that we know what's on each form, I'm going to move a label onto each form control. And I'm going to change the properties of that label just to say what the form is. Game complete. Properties. Game over. Label. Properties game. Notice I'm just changing it on the text. I'm not worrying about anything else. The menu I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to add two buttons on the menu. And I'm going to make some changes to the actual buttons themselves. So on button one, first of all I'm going to change that to BN New Game, no spaces. And I'm then going to change the text on that button to say New Game. And the other button it's going to just say exit I'm going to call it BN exit okay. finally the title let's have the label on there title then I'm going to click on the background to the form, the grey area go into the properties of the form and for every form I'm going to do the following change the window state to maximized and the form border style to none okay 
so window state to maximized form border style to none click on the background properties form border style to none window state to maximized game over screen window state to maximized form border style to none game complete screen properties form border style to none make sure you click on the background each time otherwise it won't come up with these items because you'll still be clicked on the label so if you look on the label uh, there's no form border style or anything like that because there isn't such a thing as a form border style on a label once I've done all that I'm going to save my work to make sure I don't lose it and then I'm going to on the properties of each form again now on the lightning bolt I'm going to go up to where it says click double click on this white area here I'm going to tell the form to be closed so this dot close I'm just going to copy that to make it easier Right, the game complete form is now completed so I'm going to get rid of that from the screen so I know where I'm up to game over screen lightning bolt to get to the events look for the click double click this dot closed save all close the game over screen the menu I'm going to do something slightly different as you will see so I'll leave that one for now double click on the click this dot close game game move over to the title on the lightning bolt click this dot close save let's get rid of the title so the menu this time I'm going to actually click on the new game or double click on the new game and I'm going to double click on the exit button to give me some options for the code now the menu button menu form sorry is the first form we're going to get to load up so I'm going to go back to solution explorer go to program.cs and where it currently says new form 1 which we removed I'm going to tell it to create a new form menu save that and close it so in form menu what we actually want to happen first is the actual title form to load up before the menu form so we create a new copy of the title form and tell it to show as a dialogue what this means is that the program will actually pause at that point <coughs> excuse me and after that show dialogue it will then initialize the component and show the form menu so the title form will show it will show full screen then it will show the menu form for new game what we're going to do is obviously create a new game form and then we're going to say if game dot show dialog so again we're going to pause the program at the point where we show the game screen equals equals and then it comes up with system windows form dialog result we'll just hit the full stop button to make that appear if it equals yes we're going to show the game complete screen frm game complete complete equals new frm game complete complete dot show dialog else so if it doesn't show come back with the dialog result of yes which is what we'll set game form to to equal if we complete the game we obviously show the game over screen so we create a new copy of the game over screen and then show that on the screen instead okay so when we hit the new game button uh, we're going to load up the game and show it as a dialog once the game completes either to yes or game over it then shows the complete or game over screen and then it will come back to the menu afterwards obviously exit we want to actually close the application just like that application.exit closes the application so what we're going to do now is we're going to just run our program and this basic structure now should be basically complete. There's our title sequence, 
we click anywhere it shows the menu at the moment I'm not worried about how the look of it is because we're going to replace those buttons with a graphic and uh, we're going to make it look a lot nicer so we go to new game and it shows the game screen uh, when we click the game screen obviously it goes to game over we're not going through the game complete path we click that and it comes back to our menu and we can create another new game we can play the game again it then closes the game game over but once we finish the game we can hit exit and our game finishes and that is as simple as it is to make the actual original initial structure for the game yes I know it's improving performance it does this every single time I do a screen capture so um, I shall not show this message again and it shall be fine okay so on the next video I will show you how to actually create the game engine and how we link that into the game